Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this was a requested video. Someone did ask if I would share how I make my meatloaf. I'm sure there are hundreds of, you know, different ways that people make theirs. And if you guys have anything, you know, kind of different or an alternative or something special that you do, please leave it down in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you guys as well. But whenever someone does request a video, I, I do like to make those requested videos if I'm able to. So this is how I make my meatloaf. Okay, for my dry ingredients, I'm going to be using the plain Progresso breadcrumbs. You can also use saltine crackers as a substitute for this. And I'm going to use the Lipton Beefy Onion Soup Mix. Normally I get just the Lipton Onion Soup Mix, but they were out. This one tastes almost identical. It just has a few larger pieces of the minced onion. And then salt, pepper, and garlic salt as well. For my wet ingredients, I'm using, I'm only going to use two pounds of this ground chuck. It is 80-20. A can of tomato sauce, that's 14.5 ounces, and one egg. So I'm going to put the two pounds of hamburger meat in a mixing bowl. I'm going to go ahead and add my one egg and my can of tomato sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that up first. Um, yes, you will be getting your hands dirty really soon, but I'm going to be using a spoon for this part just because I want to make sure that the egg and the tomato sauce gets mixed thoroughly before I continue. And then I will add my beefy onion Lipton soup mix just dry. Just put the dry ingredients on there and then mix that up as well. And then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, three fourths teaspoon of pepper, and three fourths teaspoon of the garlic salt as well. And then the mixture looks a little wet here. And, and for the new wives, the new cooks or new chefs out there, you use the, the egg and the breadcrumbs or the crackers um, because it helps hold the hamburger meat together without it, it kind of crumbles and, you know, kind of flakes apart. So I'm going to be using half of the tub of the um, Progresso breadcrumbs. If you don't have these, you can use three fourths of a package of saltine crackers. And then I'm going to put mine on this cutting board here. And this is where I mix it up and get my hands dirty and make sure that it's really mixed up well together. And I form mine on this cutting board because I cook mine on a metal rack. I cover the metal rack with aluminum foil and poke holes in it, and then I put it over a drip pan um, for the grease. I'm sure you guys have your own meatloaf pan or whatever. Some have the little meatloaf pans that the little top comes out and the grease is on the bottom, but this is just how I cook mine. And I'm going to put it in the oven for um, one hour at 350, and then the last seven minutes I take it out and put the ketchup on top, and then it comes out golden brown. And that's how I make my meatloaf. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye.